allow me to take a step back. Everyone since September has moved towards a fascist path of thinking all of a sudden because of new perspectives and new little social zeitgeist and movements in the right wing that we've sort of dropped everything we were doing at the moment. So I'm going to take a step back and focus on little issues I was trying to cover in July and August, especially since I was really big into this shit during September. So a lot of what I was focused back then, knowing that before I would tend to put all the blame on society on, let's say, statism or fucking... If it's not statism, it's hierarchies, archons, things like that. I would even put blame on an institution, on something that's there for for social controls and those kind of purposes. And they may have the blame, but July and August, I was switching the perspective, the little dichotomy, and trying to target not just institutions and little, those kinds of organizations, but also I was also trying to target the way humans have been manipulated. And this was, a lot of this was coming from me watching some videos on grad school level political science and just thinking about how badly they manipulate our train of thought. And these, of course, these professors and their amalgamation of several ridiculous concepts, ideas, and bullshit perspectives to try and manipulate people and not really give them a true sense of intellectual honesty. So from that position, let me... Let me recharge this shit. I'll do it later. Now going into that, Populism was one of those things. Populism and statism. Not the institution itself of the state, but how we organize ourselves to try and... I don't want to burn myself. We organize ourselves and shit to rely on it. To rely on statism in a negative way, in a detrimental way. We rely on an institution, and not just statism, but religious institutions, to basically empower the populace. To give them more power, and in turn give the state a horrifying amount of it, and really when you're Building upon everybody like that, when you have this strong collective and this institution that's also being empowered, which is in itself a collectivist institution, who's going to get hurt? The individual. The individual that isn't in the political side. The individual that's on the social side. The everyday guy that's just trying to make it by. Not the motherfuckers that are little groups that organize themselves to essentially empower themselves at the expense of the individual and the political individuals with collective goals respond to that to empower themselves as well. We got ourselves in this nasty little spiral. And people call it the military industrial complex and that is a an excellent way to describe it. Yet in general, it's just the nature of statism and populism. The growth of the growth of collectives and the collective mentality and the systems that 
and institutions that support that at the expense of the individual, which is essentially what the right winger stands for, the individual, individual liberty. And of course, you can look at that and basically put so many little examples besides statism. The religious institutions, education definitely, anyone that's been to public school knows that, or even any compulsory ed, no, hell even universities, they know what kind of bullshit you gotta deal with. It's all essentially collectivistic now. And it's systematic. It's systematic. Everything's supposed to be interdependent now. Nothing can be its own entity. Governments, economies, markets, let's see, social groups, organizations like that, institutions, they all have to be interdependent. interdependent. I don't know why, what happened to my jaw or something to make me pronounce that weird, but we're all of us are essentially supposed to be interdependent now. We can't just survive upon our own merits. We have to rely on other organizations, other groups. We have to keep going on a collectivist mindset. And it's always going to hurt the individual who's autonomous, whose mentality is beyond that. That sucks because as long as you're sentient, maybe not even that, you're an individual. So these collectivists are hurting themselves. They're hurting their own individual autonomy, their own individual power to systematically make everyone dependent upon everybody else. That's not how you build a society. That's essentially how you empower a society, but not really, you're not really doing anything with that power except getting more shit. You're not building anything, you're not growing anything, you're not developing the world, making it a better place, you're not producing, you're not constructing civilization, you're not making it into a better place. You're just. Getting more shit. Which isn't even yours. Hell, you're denying shit that belongs to you as a result of that because it's just more ether from the collective. Essentially. And with that mindset, it's got to be stupid to uh, try and do anything in society because you'll be taken advantage of. Nowadays, we live in a society where those that try and do what they're naturally supposed to want to do, they're taken advantage of. If you want to do something with your life, you're taken advantage of. You turn into a drug addicted bitch nigga that eventually dies out. And that sucks. So you gotta cheat the system, or you gotta be an outsider that goes his own way. You gotta do something. You gotta find something. Because you got all this excess energy and you can't really attribute it to anything else. Why? Well, like I said before, backtracking right now. Backtracking. Because the collectives and those that stand for the collectives, those that represent it, essentially made it so that we live in a systematic world where Everyone's dependent upon everybody else. There isn't this entity where it is what it is, it exists. Our government, it isn't what it is. Our economies, it ain't what it is. It's not. It's not what it's trying to be. We're trying to, like, have the so called uh, economics of 
the strong economy of growth and things of that nature. Global economics, we're all in interdependent on each other for our resources. It's cost efficient. But it's counterproductive. And if it's not counterproductive, and it's not non-productive, then it's going to be just a little bit productive for some people. <sighs> and the mistake of trying, and this is what voluntarists do, and I support voluntarism. I do support it. I support what it stands for. I think that if society were to not go and fall out, that that would be the natural progression, and that's good, but now we're going to take that fascist road all of a sudden. Maybe not even that. I think they had it right. The problem is that they were targeting people that essentially didn't just, they may have known that this is like a little bullshit, this The way we look at institutions that essentially don't really help us produce anything, that don't really, that are counterproductive. And what they might say, violence, which, okay. Well, these people benefit off that. They kind of want that. They kind of helped turn an institution that had the potential for this level of destruction and they switch it to its ugly side they helped turn into a type of society where no one's really independent if they are independent then other people take advantage of them and this isn't the kind of video where I should be going in circles but there you go I'm going in circles again and because I'm going in circles, I'll probably make more videos, more of these little backtrack videos. But that was what I was trying to get to in July and August. And I think the way I approach topics like these isn't really the most efficient, most effective way of doing it. I think it's... The way I did it, I try to make it... I try to take it through history. I didn't do a good job of it. It would have been better if I just did what I'm doing right now. Better, even if it's marginally better. But whatever. It's not something that you can account for. Alright, anything left to say? Try and get my last few concepts and heuristics out of fucking way. Anything in my fucking brain right now? Boy, this is awkward. Give me a minute. Okay, then we get to progressivism. We spoke about statism, populism, and progressivism. Populism is more centered around agriculture, so that wasn't a good word to describe it with, because I made a series on populism. Yet, that ideology is more based on an agrarian society where a better alternative would be progressivism, even though they're very similar in how they try and collectivize our mindset and make us interdependent, and not really entities of individual strength and we can organize in that fashion. So there you go. 
same social issues, different setting.